want to continue those same practices that have, have, have kept us safe to date. Um, and so the social distancing, absolutely. The, the mask wearing still super important, even when we were vaccinated. All new tonight, a pharmacy a professor at Manchester University tells us what to expect after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you for choosing us. I'm Brian McElhatton. And I'm Christy Miller. We watched yesterday as the first people in Allen County received the COVID-19 vaccine. But what should you expect when the vaccine is distributed to the public? ABC 21's Ariel Cadet is answering that question tonight. Well, that's right, Brian. Krista, Dr. Trent Town tells me it's important for a good amount of the population to get vaccinated. He says he knows there are a lot of questions surrounding the vaccine, but he has full confidence in the science behind it. There are a lot of questions surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine. When can I get it? Is it safe? Will it work? I sat down with associate professor of pharmacy practice, Dr. Trent Town, to get those answers. Both vaccines, both the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine and then the Moderna vaccine have been studied in a lot of people um, in about 30,000 people in each trial, which is a lot more than, you know, even some drugs that come to market. So, you know, that, that should give the, the, the public a lot of a lot of comfort. Town tells me there aren't any major differences when it comes to the Pfizer vaccine versus the Moderna vaccine. He says Pfizer's is about 95 percent effective compared to Moderna's, which is about 94.1 percent effective. Town says that isn't too much of a difference. So when you go to a, a pharmacy or you go to your doctor's office and get a flu vaccine, you don't really say, gosh, which vaccine am I going to get? No, you say, I just want the flu vaccine. Um, and in a lot of ways, these two vaccines are so similar. We should really think about them to, to a very similar way. Right now, healthcare workers are some of the first people to receive the vaccine. Town says once the vaccine is ready to be pushed out to the public, it will be distributed mostly by retail pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens. And it basically is like giving ourselves a playbook. And gives ourselves kind of this playbook to produce a piece of the virus. And once our cells produce that piece of the virus, then our own body's immune system can see that and can act, can act against it. It can create a, an antibodies against it. You'll get two shots for both vaccines. You would go back in either three or four weeks to get the second shot. And he says after you get vaccinated, it's important to make sure you're still following safety guidelines. Yeah, I can't wait to the time I take my mask off. Um, and I can go to work or I can go to 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 the grocery store and not have to wear a mask and and I can see someone's face and and see them smile. Um, but we have to keep keep pressing forward on that, even with this vaccine coming out. The vaccine will be free to all Americans. Health officials say vaccinations for the general public may not begin until summer.